popping everybody welcome back to J City today I'm gonna to be doing a university room tour video of London Hall at Western University let's play the opening montage Wow, I could not have picked a better day to do a university dorm room tour video. Anyways, if you guys are new to J City, what's popping? My name is Jason, and I am a third year mechanical engineering student at the University of Western Ontario. I am currently staying in London Hall, which is an upper year res at Western University, and it's usually not open to first years until this year, with an exception because of this whole situation that's going on. So London Hall is a suite style residence, which means there are rooms inside of rooms and there is a shared common areas between your roommates. There are some suites in this building where there are three people and there are some with two. I'm in the two person suite, which means I have one roommate. My roommate is a buddy that is also in mechanical engineering that I've known since first year. The good thing about living in residence is that you are really close to campus and you're surrounded by people from other faculties as well. I personally chose London Hall because it is very close to the engineering building, which is where I do most of my classes and most of my studying. So walking to the engineering building takes about five minutes. Okay, let's start from the outside and work our way in, starting with the security of this building. So first up, in order to get into the hallway, you have to use one of your housing cards to go in. And once you get in, there are another set of doors that also have their own locks in it. Me and my roommate can unlock our suite door using our keys, but he can't unlock my personal room door with his key card, only mine can do that. And to further add another layer of security, the front door of this building is locked and you have to use your student card to open it, you have to tap it, and then that's how it lets you in. All right, I guess let's continue with this room tour. So this is what the front door to my suite looks like. Let me show you what it looks like when you walk in. So on the left, we got the kitchen area, and on the right, we got the living area. First, let me show you the living area. Welcome to my room. This is what it looks like. One camera angle pretty much gets it all, so thank you guys so much for watching. No, I'm totally messing with you guys. I'm gonna show you all four corners of this room. I'm gonna show you uh, highlights of this room that I wanna show you and quality of life changes that I did to this room to make my life a whole lot easier, starting with the closet area. So over here we got these two shelves which came with the residence. Let me move my laundry back out of the way so that I can show you inside. So on the top over here I have my pants, I have a bunch of my coats, sweaters, jackets, um, you know like something more formal. I had a job interview yesterday so I wore this. And let me show you my favorite jacket. So this is my engineering jacket that my faculty um, that I bought for my faculty because this does not come with Western engineering, unfortunately. But this is my engineering jacket. It has a uh, mechanical on it and it says my uh, graduation year. So yeah, I love this jacket. It's super warm and it just looks really great. Of course, all of my clothes I brought, including this uh, stand, which just gives extra compartments so that you can stack things on top of each other. Anything that I find that is interesting that I think you'll like, I will link down in the description below so that you guys can check it out and buy it for yourself. And yeah, that's pretty much it with this section over here. And over in this area is where I keep my clothes so that there's easy access. On the left, I have my short sleeve clothes and on the right, I have my long sleeve clothes. Down here, we got like towels, so things I use for the washroom. I also have my water station over here. I drink a lot of water, so I do have my own Brita filter in my room. And the reason why there's tape over here is because me and my roommate have the exact same Brita filter. So I put tape over mine so that I can differentiate between his filter and my filter. Oh, let me show you this really nice shirt that I got from Climbing Club. So I was an exec in Climbing Club. I was a general exec and I got this long sleeve shirt that says J City, which is pretty cool. I also got one of these head massagers. So I went to a friend's house and he had one of these and I tried it and I fell in love with it. If you've ever tried one of these, it just feels just feels so nice. So yeah, I do keep one of these around. And lastly, on the bottom over here, let me see if I can scoot you down. I have my camera equipment. Obviously I'm filming with my camera right now. So my camera would be here as well as this tripod 
And whenever I film vlogs, I use this, which is a which is a switch pod, so I could quickly just switch out the legs and then put it on the table and then switch back to vlogging mode very easily. So this is um, one of the best purchases I've ever made for vlogging. And you might notice that I have a little Nerf gun over here so that um, whenever my roommate gets belligerent, I can immobilize him. No, I'm kidding. This is just a little game that we play. We just like shoot each other. And I do have a couple of things on top of the shelf that I don't access too often. Um, I have this Frisbee over here. I have um, some engineering hard hats. This is the one that I got in first year. Uh, it's not that high quality, but this one on the other hand, it's like super high quality. This might actually like protect you. I also got this like massaging thing so that you can like massage your back if no one's around. I also got this foam roller. Foam rollers are so nice. You should definitely get a foam roller if you have like back pains or back issues because this will help you straighten your back. This foam roller has changed my back forever. Oh, I got some extra like blankets, pillows, things like that in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it with what's up here. Let me show you this area. So this is where I keep my Polaroids. There's something about Polaroids that I just really love. I know there are like digital cameras now, there are like smartphone cameras, but there's this look about instant cameras that you just can't get with a digital or like a smartphone camera. So yeah, whenever my friends come over, I would take a picture with them and I take a picture using this camera, which is the Fujifilm Instax Mini 8. I borrowed it from my sister, so thank you to my sister for letting me borrow this. So yeah, on the bottom over here, I got this printer. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, this printer just like pieced out on me. It just broke. So I have to get a new one. I highly recommend getting a printer for university because printing at the library is like expensive and it's just not as convenient compared to having your own printer. And um, it's on top of this like shelf with three separate compartments. Um, this is a really weird spot to put a printer, I know, but I couldn't really find another spot to put like this printer because it is so big. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this area. This is my bed. And I do keep some things that I don't access that often under my bed because it clears up a lot of space up here. Now, let me show you the most important part of this room, which is my desk. So this is my desk. This is where I do most of my studying when I'm not studying in the engineering building or in the library. So I like to keep this area nice and clean and minimalistic so that it will alleviate any distractions that is on the table. But before we continue, I need to direct your attention to this headphone stand and thank you to Banks for sending these over. Banks is a company that specializes in selling high quality accessories for your smart devices. As a person that's really big on tech and doesn't have a headphone stand for my AirPods Max, I was really thrilled when they reached out to me because this is probably one of the best and most thought out headphone stands there are on the market right now. Now, the thing with most headphone stands is that they deform your headband because there's uneven pressure, kind of like this. But with the Banks AirPods Max headphone stand, it actually contours to the shape of the headband so that there is maximum support. The supporting rod is also at an angle so that the headphones will never hit the stand. It also features a 15 watt wireless charger at the base so that you can wireless charge your devices while displaying your headphones at the same time. This stand is also built like an absolute unit and it is super sturdy while also protecting your headphones at the same time it prevents wear because of its soft silicone touch surfaces. And the overall design and aesthetic of this headphone stand is very modern and beautiful and can fit into pretty much any room. If you would like one of these headphone stands for yourself, feel free to visit the first link in the top of this video's description. Banks is having a promotion all site wide where if you use promo code GIF you can get five dollars off your purchase. Thank you to Banks for sending this over and let's get back to this video. So over here I got my MacBook and my monitor. I don't use a desktop for university. I only exclusively use laptops because of its convenience. This monitor over here is the Asus VG245 gaming monitor. There's nothing really special about this monitor. I just want something that will allow me to see my content a little bit bigger so that it can increase my productivity. Speaking of productivity, I got my MacBook Pro over here. This is the 16 inch, the new one. Um, I just maxed out all the specs cause you know, why not? Like I need something that can edit videos very quickly and sometimes my edits get really insane. And other than that, there is a secret compartment under here where I keep this stand that I don't really use, this laptop stand. 
and I also have my iPad over here and my other computer. Because I'm in engineering, I do need to run SolidWorks, but unfortunately SolidWorks does not run on Macs, so I have this other computer so that I can run SolidWorks and other engineering apps that require Windows. These are flags, sticky notes are over here. I do have a Bluetooth speaker, which I never use because, you know, it's not that good. But the real magic is what I have behind my computer. So if I close this over here, there is an entire charging station underneath this table. And I really want to show you because I feel like it has really made the quality of life just a lot easier. So over here, you can see a bunch of these chargers just sticking out from the table. But if you go underneath the table, um, this is where the magic happens because I have this power bar where there are a bunch of adapters that connect to the cables that go up to the top. This has made life just a lot easier because I can just go over here and plug my devices in and charge very quickly. So this is a fast charger and this is like the normal speed charger. Um, yeah, the cable's kind of messed up. And this is my Apple Watch charger as well as my barrel charger for my computer. And this is the MacBook charger. And whenever this cable isn't connected to my computer, I would also put it on this rubber thing. So um, getting one of these rubber things was one of the best purchase decisions like ever because it just keeps your cable just so much more organized. So yeah, I will have a link in the video description. On the other side, again, we got the headphone stand. I think this really completes the look of the desk as well as the remote for these LEDs, which are just behind this table and behind my bed. So I can also change the colors with this remote. And I do have um, another charging station over here for like my camera equipment. So um, whenever I need to charge some batteries, I just like throw it on here. So it's like super convenient. And I do have one of these Philips Hue lamps so that I can change the color if I really wanted to. I feel like giving your residence just a splash of color just like kind of completes the look. Yeah, that's pretty much it for my desk. I do have a couple of other things in here, but that's just like stationaries, but I don't really use that much. Uh, behind my monitor, I do have the succulent that my girlfriend gave me. His name is Lenny and he's just enjoying this beautiful weather right now. If I were to sum up this entire desk area, I would just say get one of these like these rubber silicone things because it just organizes your cable so well. Now over here, I do have one of these cork boards that came with the residence. It goes on these rails so that you can slide this back and forth. But as you can see, I never really use it. The only thing I have is my schedule. Um, I keep my schedule not dead smack in the center because if I keep it over here, I can quickly glance over at my schedule when I'm at my desk. So if it's over here, it's gonna be a little bit harder to see. So yeah, I just don't use this. I also don't use this calendar. It's completely blank right now because I just have everything on the digital calendar. And under here, I have these crates that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. These crates are really nice because you can stack them however high you want them and they're super sturdy. Um, I have like some disinfectant and stuff. So I got some alcohol over here. I got some like wet wipes, disinfectant wipes so that I am not going to catch a case. All right, well, this is a room tour. Let me show you the common area. So this is the common area that my roommate and I chill in. Uh, we do have um, all of these furniture. So the couch, uh, these two couches, this table, chairs, these are all provided by the residents. And uh, let me show you around the kitchen area. But first, let me turn off this light because I've always thought that the color of this light is just not good for filming. Okay, now I think this looks a lot more natural. Um, all right, so over here, we got the microwave. This was provided by the residents. Um, my roommate got this air fryer. We also got them some knives so that we can cut up our vegetables. Um, don't mind the mess in the kitchen because we just ate lunch, we made lunch. And um, yeah, this fridge provided by the residents. Uh, I got the hot water heater. I have the rice cooker and the drying rack. So overall, uh, pretty comfortable living over here. Some pots and pans underneath in this compartment over here and um, some little things here and there in the kitchen as well, but that's probably not as interesting to watch. Oh, let me show you the washroom. And this is the washroom that my roommate and I share. Um, obviously, like not at the same time, but we have the sink over here, we got the shower, and we got the toilet that's right below you. And there's nothing really too much to say about the bathroom. And yeah, now that we're on the topic of residences, I might as well also show you around the residence a little bit. So let's teleport just somewhere in the residence. This is the laundry room of my residence. This is where we wash our clothes. So here are the washing machines. 
and here are the drying machines. So to operate these machines, you have to use a credit from your laundry card. What else can I show you? There is a fitness room in London Hall. However, it is closed because of Rona. So there are meeting rooms in this residence and there are actually three of them. You can go and study with your pals whenever you want. And there is also a dedicated music room with a piano that is very out of tune, but if you just want to jam out on the piano, you can. Let's see if I can get a good view of the courtyard. Over here, we got some vending machines. Unfortunately, the ice cream machine is broken or something. They just didn't operate it. Oh yeah, and an ice dispenser. And around my residence, there are a bunch of amenities. For example, there is Bearcat, which is shawarma. There is also Pizza Hut, a pharmacy. There's 7-Eleven gas station. And across the parking lot, that is Essex Hall. So that is the neighbor of London Hall. And there's one more thing that I want to show you. So me and my buddies, we have this push-up chart. So every time we do 10 push-ups, that's one tally mark. So this is going to foster some growth because some competition is uh, nice to like motivate us. As you can see, I'm clearly losing because I had some back neck issues a couple days ago, but it is starting to get a little bit better. So yeah, hopefully I'm uh, gonna feel a little bit better. Anyways guys, that's it for me in this room tour video of London Hall at Western University. If you guys are new to J City, what's popping? My name is Jason and I'm a third year mechanical engineering student at the University of Western Ontario. And feel free to click that subscribe button and enable those bell notifications so that you're not going to miss out on any new future posts. And while you're at it, also give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, let me know what other video suggestions you want to see in the comments below. I love reading your comments because it gets me absolutely fired up. And yeah. Take care and stay safe. Peace.